Welcome back to another episode of The Joy of Building. We're here working on the cactus farm, and as you can see, they're growing, they're popping off. But in the process of building last time, we discovered that there is a problem in that the cactus is getting caught on top of the walls. So we're going to have to address that. As you can see, I've already blocked up the water behind me so that it makes working a little bit easier. But we'll go ahead, we'll do what's necessary. Uh, we will make some big changes, but in the end, it'll work out for the best and it will make it so that it's a very productive process for us. Switching back to first person mode, I was going to go ahead and make a quick couple of changes here. Looking at the setup, I realize that uh, we need to have something that can both trigger the pop of the cactus, but will also not catch anything falling from above. And so after some reflection, I realized that what I need to do is make some fence gates. So what I'm going to do here is we'll go ahead and use the birch and we'll make some birch fence gates. And once we've made a sufficient number of those, we'll go ahead and start reworking, rebuilding, redesigning our little farm here. Get on with it! As you can see, I'm sitting, looking at my work here. I've gone ahead, I cleared out that center line, put in the wall, uh, but then I'm gonna put this fence post in, but you see, if you put it in wrong, it's going to connect to the wall. You're also going to step on the cactus. Ah! Now, I could leave it there, but the problem is, because it connected to the wall, anything coming from above risks falling onto that sticking so we're going to have to remove that we're going to have to find a better way to install it but in the meantime I wanted to quickly build in at least one or two on this upper level I'll just do a quick demonstration here I'll put in that second level of cactus oh sorry oh ah all right can I reach from down here I'm gonna try better eat some food just in case that that took me down a few so Coming back with the fence, gates, excuse me, Mr. Cactus, we'll put you back later. I can put it there, but the problem is, it looks like it works until you put in the wall. So, we'll keep experimenting here. Looks like I'm out of food and I I'm a little down on health, so I am going to need to go get some food. So let's fly over quick and get some food. Did you hear that? I... I have it lit downstairs. I have it lit everywhere. That shouldn't have been like a creeper on skeleton fight or whatever. This is a private world. It's just on my computer. What is going on? I spent a minute investigating. I have no idea where that explosion came from. It's a little unnerving. Okay, as you can see, I've actually gone ahead and after some trial, some error, I've uh, figured out that if I place it facing the wall, it will make it so that the edges of the gate would attach to the cactus were it there. That makes it so that when I open it, nothing's going to catch on it, but also it's not going to connect to the wall and leave a little connection spot. Stepping back, looking at that, doesn't that just look beautiful? Hello. Beautiful, gorgeous, wish you were here. From this distance here, just that repetition of several rows. We've got two full rows done. Obviously there's gonna be a bunch more, but as you can see, it's, it's already looking very nice and symmetrical. Now that we've found a, a successful way to lay it out, reducing the loss and the hanging around um, 
items floating. We're going to go ahead and get our glass. Uh, we're going to pick up some white concrete because we're doing a lovely diamond pattern with the glass. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to check here through all of my other uh, shulker boxes. Make sure I don't have anything in the wrong spot. All right, let's grab this blue stained glass and then go ahead and like I say, fill up on that concrete because we're going to need it. And then once we've done that, we'll go ahead and go back upstairs. This is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to take a minute and look at the design here. Because it's a repeating diamond pattern, but because of the circle nature, there's going to be corners where the diamonds aren't quite perfect. All right, so I've come up, put down that first layer, and this is going to take some trial and error because last time I built this, I built it in creative. And I'm going to build this all in survival, and as you can see, I'm trying to build that diamond. One for the first level, three for the second. But then things get complicated here on the sides because it's hard to remember where it's actually sitting. So I think this is right. We'll go ahead, we'll do the other side. And then once we've done this other side, well, uh, I'll do one more level. All right, so we'll bump that up. No, don't need that. Got to take that out. Oh, let's get dainty. My silk touch, silk touch pickaxe. Pop that free. Gonna put in some concrete there. Let's do our five because it's one three five three one, right? So that should be one. There we go. Do that. I'm not sure this is the best way, but we'll give it a go. One more time. Yeah, all right. So, let's see here. Hello, Mr. Cactus. Did you see that one die on the cactus? Let's see, gotta reflect. All right, step back, take a look. Gotta make sure. So it looks like the center one, which is the first full one, that's off to a good start, but I'm looking at these others here. Eh, let's, let's build it a little more and look. Looking at it, eh, it's, it seems close, it seems right, but I'm not entirely sure. But that's the tough part. It's hard to get the distance and then to come back and the distance and come back. But we're going to keep working at it here, and we'll come back when I've given another level. All right, we'll try this again here. We've got the blues, so we'll do one, three, five, and three, and one. And then we'll do our white concrete to block it in. And that way we're sure that we've got our diamond shape. It's a nice ribbing, uh, kind of like stained glass in a way. All right, so this one will be one, three, and then five. Oh, got more glass. Three, and then one. Okay, let's get that white concrete ribbing here, maybe. Uh, all right, I had to spend a minute looking. One, three, five, three, one. Okay. And I'll go ahead and we'll put that up. Do the ribbing again. And this side should be a full one. So one out, oh, more blue glass again. I swear I'm always running out of stuff. Three, five, three, and one. Block it off with the ribbing. All right. Let's see. I'm going to look at the, my little designs here. Ah, I've got to get some distance and it's getting nighttime, so I'm going to take a quick sleep. 
All right, waking up. Yeah, let's go up. I gotta say, it's kind of nice to have this little bit here. Let's see how it's looking. That sure looks pretty, doesn't it? As you can see, we've made some progress here. Let's go take a look and see how it's turning out. Looking at it, you can see. It's starting to form up and make that lovely shape, and we're going to get some beautiful coloration. I need to do it on the back. I do get the whole back. To quote Miss Price, isn't that pretty? So now we'll go ahead, we'll start with the cyan and we'll build that up. Just level it off to that level that we're on and then we can start building up on the inside. We'll turn in our blue stained glass and our blue dye and then we'll go ahead and we'll snag some cyan that we got from this bucket. And it looks like we're gonna have to make it ourselves, which is not a bad thing. A little dye, little glass, and look at that, there we go. You can see a little bit of dye goes a long way in this game, and that's okay too. So we'll go ahead, we'll throw that in there, and we'll grab a little bit of our concrete, because we're gonna need it. And we'll set to work. Just building it up to that level, of course. And the nice thing is, is everything up to this level now that's open is going to be cyan. So let's go ahead and throw that in our side pocket. There's the five level, the three level, and this is the five level. So we'll do a hot swap, switch over, and there we go. And we're gonna fly down to this level because we need to fill in this one. So that's three, five, three, whoop! Thanks for the double click. Step out here and just make sure we look kosher, which we do. Gets a little wonky on the sides here, but that's okay. We've got it figured because we remember that the ones match with the threes. So this will be a three and this will be a one. So let's go ahead. We'll lock that in. We'll do a three and pop up a level. And this will be a five. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, boom. And then we'll step over. Come down here and we'll finish her off. As you can see, remember the ones match with threes. So this will be a three, this will be five, this will be a three, but not a full row. Three, so it's a one. There you go. The nice thing is, once we've hit this point, we can go ahead and uh, Keep chugging. We know that we can't have a full row there because we don't want the glass next to the calcite, but that's all right. We'll just finish building this out. And we'll go ahead do a little different on the ends here than I did in the original, and that's okay. <sighs> Gotta let that light in or these plants here won't grow. Is that right? Of course it's right. Well, not doing that. We're blocking that out. Go ahead and put in that and that and that. Here we go. We'll drop in our 
sign in, stay in class. Lock off that. We won't do that, silly thing. Silly Billy. Your powers are useless on me, you silly Billy. You silly Billy. Don't make me call in. <laughs> Oh gosh, sorry. I had to think about a, a cartoon show that we used to watch as a family. Venture Brothers. Dr. Killinger. Dr. Henry Killinger. And this is my magic murder bag. Yes, loosely based on Henry Kissinger for anybody who's wise and knows those things. Let's let's polish this puppy off. We'll just level it off to this level. Okay, remember, there's our three, and this is our five, but we want to make sure that we've got our <clears throat> white concrete, because that's the color we're choosing, but we need to then come down here and take care of this level too. There's three, there's the five, whoa, and I'm down, oh, I made a mistake while well, I was not uh, showing you what was going on, because... Let's face it, I didn't want to use rockets to get up out of there. Let's see, I think we're okay on that. Let's do that. We'll sneak back around here and climb back up. This is going to be a beautiful thing when it's all said and done. Curious about this? I'll show you real quick. Look at how it's filling in. Every one of them has some. Not all of them have anything, but we're getting there. Give it time. Gotta pull that out. Can't have that. Can't be burning that stuff, because that doesn't yield anything. But you see, once that fills up, these will fill up, those will fill up, and it will be good. We'll need to come and use it fairly frequently, but as you can see, the state of my tools, with what I'm planning on doing over there, uh, <clears throat> if you haven't clicked to it yet, I'm going to be excavating that entire area over there. Can you see it? Right there. We'll dig out everything inside that orange. So, uh, I will need plenty of XP to level off and fix up my tools. Alright, so we were on the five, and then a three, and then a one. Demone boom boom. <clears throat> now, remember the weirdness. Gotta fix that too. Alright. And so this is gonna be a four because we run out of space. That's okay. This here's our three. That's our one. Boom, 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 ba -doom. Not that silly goose. Honk, honk, honk. Alright. Look at that puppy. We're getting there. This is cooking with gas. We are cooking with gas. All right. Isn't that great? We finished it off. Let's run over here. We'll go ahead and put this down here and we'll come in in just a second here. All right. Plop you in with every other piece of glass we got going. And with all of the concrete. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this and we're going to take these upstairs here to make my life easier. Instead of flying all the way down we can just hike up a little bit. see oh it's gonna be beautiful but we're gonna have to pick up our stuff in this chest here so easiest way I always find is to just break it break it wide open now. 
Now comes the tricky part of being able to get in there and not fall down. We'll get there. because we cannot stand on the cactus because it breaks our tootsies. And you, sir, are not doing things the right way. So we're going to have to hack you off real quick and come back to you when you have sprouted up a little bit. And that's all right. Here we go. We'll throw down our cacti. A cacti. have more of those in my pocket I do not well that's gonna make things a little bit difficult but we will come back and I think I'll be able to take care of it from the edge if not we'll find another way we're always gonna have to do that part of building is being creative but making sure that you are able to Reach your goals. And sometimes you gotta take a little bit of un unorthodox means of getting there, but in the end, it's all worth it. Alright, let's go down and sleep and get our our fence and then or our wall rather and then we'll go from there. Had to pull together some more fence gates because we want to have those between as well. And we'll just make our way up here. I'm looking at my construction area there, but let's look at this. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Get that ready for when the time comes. Because that's the whole point of this repetition. Stack it up so it processes through, makes up all of the different uh, tasks, whether it's this or we've got a kelp farm or a sugar farm or whatever farm. And then that way, you don't have to spend the time grinding for it, but rather you can go on and build other amazing designs and things like that. You can see I've got some depth there. We'll, we'll look at that one day. Just not today. So there's a fence. And let's go along and do our fence. I'll catch you when I'm done. Remember, of course, to open these up, because if you don't open them up, then the cactus will get caught on top of the fence post and you won't get all the drops. And there's our look. See it coming together? Look at that. It's going to be beautiful. 
we'll finish out that circle and round off the top. But as we swing back around, we are going to call this an episode. Wishing you happy building, all sorts of fun and adventure, and hopefully very few creepers and other mobs give you grief. But just build and make beautiful things in this wonderful game that's like unlimited Legos. Get ourselves to ground. I'll give you the full send off here. Thanks for watching. Glad to have you. We'll see you on the next one. And remember, always find that joy of building. So I'm thinking that I should go over and maybe get the materials for the road, because I'm thinking I want to put the road in, at least just to give me a sense of... Oh, just a sense of place here. As you can see, I took down the... the test kitchen, as it were. Let's go, let's go get some of that other stuff that we need. All right, let's go get that stuff and we'll just see. What? 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 I didn't build this. Have we finished? What? I think so. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? This room looks complete. I have exhausted my I energy reserves. I hope we will have time to recharge here without brother noticing or Draco what? boy. Shut down before you do damage to your power cells. Good, Good night. night. Okay, I think they might be powered down. Be quiet, door. Be quiet, door. That was so loud. What? 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 Oh boy. I was afraid of this. I'm gonna have to box them in. I didn't think it was serious. I don't know how they got on my computer. <sighs> Gotta get Draco Boy. Mm -hmm.